Now we're doing what we call elimination through the process. Left hook, whenever you're throwing the left hook, your objective is to know that you can block it right here on the right hand side, or you can kind of roll up under that baby and come and counter it that way. But key is, when a guy has a good left hook, you might want to roll some steam off of that baby and boom, and then if you roll it that way, then you are in that particular, your right, I mean your left hook. Throw it right here, if you throw it right here, and I can get that fork, then I have the ability to get him with a good left hook. Now, if you got a guy who throws a great left hook, let's just say a Vander Holyfield was in the ring with you by accident, and you know he's going to outgun you with the left hook, there's a method and timing to get his left hook to benefit your left hook, and that's rolling with it. Now, some guys will try to block it, and they don't have any momentum. It's a bad choice to try to throw a left hook with a hooker. They always say, don't hook with a hooker, but if you get that little momentum, you come, boom, you got that whole lower body torque. And he throws it, you boom, and you in there, pop! So you step in there, and you can really crack him, wipe his nose with a serious left hook. But it, it causes for a step in, and when you make that step, pop, pop, you're in there. That's the only time that I advise you to hook with a hooker. So, good, good. Now that's an example of really knowing how to hook with a hooker because if you do it the wrong way, you're gonna get really cut short that night because a hooker always knows other tactics. So you have to draw him in to throw in the hook first and if you do that, then your counter could be absolutely his demise that night because you're really sitting in a place that he didn't expect you to be. You came in one step closer and you were able to crack him. And that's the difference. Now.